Hi guys and welcome back to the MNIA show. My name is Anu and I'm going to be your host. So first off, I want to start by saying thank you so much for all the love and reception I received on the first episode of season two. I really, really appreciate it. Like you got, you guys are really gassed for me, you know, and like it was just really nice to see everyone like reposting and liking and sharing and like I got really, really good feedback as well. So I just want to say thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed it and I hope you are ready for episode two. So we're back with another amazing guest today, guys. I've actually known this person for over 10 years. I was deep in it. When I was prepping for the episode, I was thinking, I've actually known this babe for over 10 years. She is a content creator, influencer, and one of the hardest workers I've ever met. We are joined by the lovely Olga. <laughs> Woo! Hi, girl. Hi. <laughs> How that was a beautiful you? introduction, by the way. I'm just like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> How are you? How have you been? How's your week been? How's your year been? Talk to me. Oh, I am. I'm great. I'm great. I was literally talking about this on my story when, mm. by the way, guys, I was two hours early to this podcast. <laughs> just putting it out there. She, she actually was like, no, I, no one's ever going to beat that. Like, she was ready. Uh, two hours earlier, though, you're funny. No, honestly, honestly. So I had to keep some time and I was talking about it on my, um, on my story and I was just like, you know what? I feel like this year has to be the best year I've had in oh, years, like literally. I love that. Honestly, I feel like since I turned 18, yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's like everything just went dark for yeah. a little while and I feel like this year, I'm feeling more like myself, you know? Oh, oh I like love that. that for you. That's Honestly. really good. <laughs> Had there been any like highlights of the year so far? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about this. Oh, is it? Yeah, I was like, you know what's so interesting? Mm. Even though it's been my best year so far, yeah. I've had the slowest in terms of any progression, mm. if that makes sense, all physical, like if you look at it from a concept of like the typical stuff, let's say job, house, yeah, yeah, yeah. husband or something like that, like I've had the slowest year, but the best year because that's what yeah. I needed. I needed some time to nice. slow down for a little while. And um, I obviously when I started off the year, I moved out. Which Purr, is can we get really a round of applause? Exciting. I know that's right. I know that's right. Honestly, I know that's right. Honestly. And uh, I moved out and it's been great, but a month after moving out, I lost my job. I was made redundant, yeah. which was, again, I feel like it was time to let the job go anyway, so I was okay with it. But I feel like what I was saying on my uh, story is that God had to clear my schedule out for a little bit. And he oh, literally, word. <laughs> for real, oh, word. he literally made sure I had no job. Social wow. media slowed down for a long time as well. Yeah. And it was just me, my house, and my Bible. So I think that's what's made all the difference in my life. Oh God, I really love that. <laughs> thank no, you. No, that's really inspiring. Like, I Honestly, really love that. No, thank you. Like, that's amazing. Yeah. And how do you been. think that time, that like that slowness or like, that period of like just pausing, how do you feel like that's done for you? Like, what do you think that's done for you and like your relationship with God and for your outlook on life as well? So much. Is it? So much. I could sit here for hours and talk about it. Like, it's done so much. Like... I went from being, let's rewind 2023 January, mm. right? And then we're going to fast forward to this year, January instead. Yeah. 2023 January, I was in a bad state. Mm. I, I get so emotional talking about it because it was actually really like crazy, but I was struggling really badly with anxiety. I was mm. struggling with delayed grief because obviously mm. some people might not know this, but I lost my mom when I was young. My biological mother wanted me to the UK. And then my mom's sister, my other mother, she raised me. Yeah. But I feel like the, my mom literally died 26th of August, 2011. And then maybe 6th of September, I was in the UK. Mm. So I never really understood what happened to me in my childhood. Yeah. At all, like the fact that I left a whole life behind. I haven't been back to Zim since then. So last year, it kind of like just all came at the same time. Like I feel like it was coming, like I was getting a little bit of alarms here and there but last year january i could not leave my house i was having panic attacks all the time i couldn't work i couldn't do a lot of things and i just never envisioned ever coming out of that space you know because yeah. when you're in that space sometimes and some people might understand them they might relate on this but when you're in a space where you're anxious you're it feels like your mind is against you you just don't really see how you could ever come out of it do you know yeah. what i mean and fast forward to now january this year make this massive move. I said, okay, who's time to move out? Like, I'm going to move out. I'm going to make all this difference and I'm going to start spending time with God. And all of a sudden, it's like, it's like, it was gone. It was lifted. And there's bad days, don't get me wrong. And I talk about bad days all the time, but like, 
even in those bad days, like when I wanna cry and stuff, like I would just go into my bedroom and I would get on my knees and I would cry and I'd be like, God, we're doing something right now. We're doing something in me, we're healing something in me, but I'm coming with my pain to you now. I'm not taking it anywhere else, I'm bringing it to you. And I feel like I was quite dependent on a lot of things. I was depending on friendships, yeah. relationships, yeah. fast life, I was busy all the time. Like mm. I had to have a list five different things that I'm juggling around for me to feel like I'm functioning. Yeah. And then now, I'm not busy at all. I'm, I am, but I'm not as busy as I used to be. Yeah. But when I do have those low days, I'm not afraid of dealing with them anymore because I know I'm not dealing with them by myself anymore. Yeah. And yeah, so that's the best way to like give you a good contrast. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, what, two minutes in, I'm going to cry, what the heck? And I've just, I've just gone straight to the gym, it's not what you. What the heck? I know. You know, you know, like, you're literally talking to me. Oh, like, I can just feel that the Holy Spirit is here because I feel like you're literally speaking to me. Like, thank you so much for sharing that. Like, I'm I'm even glad that you feel that this is a safe enough space for you to kind of, like, open up like that and be vulnerable like that because that's not an easy thing to do. No, but yeah. genuinely, like, what you have just said, like, that's going to help so many people because I know that's just helped me just now, like, nah, like, because if I get into it, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly... Yeah. You're amazing. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Thank, no, thank you. <laughs> Gosh, this is going to be a great episode. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what's it called? Like I was saying in the introduction, we've known each other. Let's actually think about it. Because I'm saying 10 years. Is it actually 10 years? No. Yeah, I think it's more than 10 years. It might be... It's about 10 years, yeah. It might be like 13, you know. Probably, yeah. How, when, how, old, how old are you in year seven? I was 11 in year 7. So, and you're 24? Yeah. So that's 13? Yeah, that's you know? 13. I feel like <laughs> I've, I've known you. Like, remind me, which house did you come, when we first met, when yeah. you came to my house? Or um, the one near me. Near you? Up the stairs? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. near the, um, the swings. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that was probably like maybe I had been in the UK for two years then. Yeah. So, wow. So definitely about 12, 10, 12 years. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. Cr- that's crazy. Right. That's a really long time to know someone. <laughs> but you know what? I, I love that, though. I feel like it's nice to know yeah. that. As much as life goes on, but, like, there's people that still remember the version of you then. Yeah. And they've seen the Literally whole thing. Oh, God, like, seeing you grow and develop into the person you are now yeah. is so nice to see. Like, genuinely, like, even, like, sometimes when I randomly see you in town and stuff like that, I'm like, oh, my gosh, like, it's so nice to see you because it really is just really nice to see you. Like, just seeing your trajectory yeah. is amazing. Like, oh. we'll, get, we'll get into it more later, but honestly, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh, like I'm, you, I'm so, Like, I mean, like, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so proud of you. Oh. You're amazing. Thank you. So You're are welcome. you, to be honest. Stop, man. No, no, I'm not even kidding. You know, here, I've got this habit, though. There's only a few people in this world. Yeah. Because obviously, we, we all went to kind of like, we're same school, similar. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. we went to like college together and stuff like that. Yeah. And there's, there's, there's a group of girls mm. that whenever I see them, I honestly start acting like a child. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just I just feel like young me. And oh. because they're like the older sisters. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> and you're part of those girls. <laughs> Sorry, that's so funny. <laughs> literally, that is so I'm, funny. I just act like silly Olga. Like literally, you probably noticed since I've been here. You're just like, I know you're being serious. <laughs> you know? No, guys, she's just been like... cracking me up since we got here. She's been killing me. <laughs> oh no, that's no, but I like that though because that means you feel comfortable. Yeah, like to just yeah. be like your young self, Definitely. like around. There's Girl, no, there's no... I love that. I really do. <laughs> okay, cool. So. If you were in a lift. Okay. <laughs> great, great if you were in a lift, yeah, as so I said to you, you have 20 seconds to explain to me who you are and what you do. Like, what would you say? Like, do you feel like you've got that? Got that ready? Wait, wait, wait. I like, I like challenges. I like challenges. <laughs> I do like this. Give me. Okay, Let's cool. get 20 seconds on the clock. I don't want to give you too much time to think about it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Which one is? Oh, yeah, timer. Wait, how many seconds did I say? 20 seconds, I right, bet. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Three. Okay, and do it into that camera. Ready? This oh, is you gonna can do it to me or that no, camera, whatever you're comfortable with. Gonna be so Three, hard, I'm two, one, it. go. Okay. I would say I am God's child. 15 seconds left. Loved. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ten seconds off, keep going. Yeah, I'm God's child. I'm loved by the almighty high. Apart from that, I'm also very creative and I I think I'm funny. I don't think a lot of people think I'm funny, but I think I'm funny and that's the most important thing. Done. And I love everything. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, I wanted to get into the I love everything pretty, all of that stuff, you know? Like, oh, whatever. <laughs> 20 seconds is not long I enough, I mean. I said who you are and what you do and you're telling me you like pretty things. I don't, I forgot the question to be totally honest with you, I forgot it. Okay, do you want to go again? Wait, so who I am? Yeah, who, who I are am? you and what do you do? Okay, cool. Like you're, it's like, oh, a, it's so it's a drink, it's like, a, it's like an elevator pitch. Oh, okay. So it's like, you literally have like 20 seconds. Are you oh, ready? okay, okay, okay. I think the thing's supposed to be 60, but I thought 20, innit? Okay, cool. Are you ready? I hear it, I hear it. Yeah, uh, go. Again. So I'm Olga, a content creator, a sister, a friend. And God's favorite, per. That that was alright, right? Yeah, that's I've got good time. You said, oh, yeah, 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 say something now. Um, <laughs> and um, I'm someone's wife one day. Oh, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm ready for the wedding. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm impatient over it. How can I go from speaking so much and then having nothing to I'm say? I'm actually crying. Ah, uh, I'm too funny. Ah, uh, cool. So, considering I made you do it, I was also gonna take part. Oh, okay. You know, just to make you feel go a bit on. better. Yeah, go on. So, this is this is my one. Hold on, let me put the thing on. Right, so, my name is Anu. I am 25 years old. I am from Essex. I have a talk show called The m and Show, and I'm also a YouTuber and all-round content creator. I have two psychology degrees, and I feel like I'm hilarious. Anu, why don't you go first so that I know what to say? <laughs> I have time left over as well. No, I have to do it again now. You know what's so funny? You had it. You've done it twice. No, this will be the last time, I promise. Last time, last time. Because I don't even tell people I've got a degree or not. No one knows. So I just said my name. I don't even know my no, age. No, but it's so interesting. Like what, like, what is the first things about yourself that come up? Oh, okay. Like, that's that's what I've just deep now as well. Like, when I was saying it, I was like, okay, cool, yeah, Emma and I sure. Okay, but what else is, who am I? Mm. I thought, yeah, like, I've got two I've got two degrees, like, per. Yeah, per. Oh, I'll check right. it out. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, I'm from Essex. Like, it was just because when I did this, I didn't actually think about it for myself. I wanted to, like, see what I would come up with, like, when we do the episode. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, do you want to go again? Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay. All right, this is a I'm gonna. Time. I'm actually going to include things that... In, yeah. Important things. Okay. Go Ready? On. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. My name is Olga. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Essex. I am a digital marketing, but no, not buddy. I'm a digital marketing girly. We used Arr. to be a buddy. We're not buddy no more. We're cool these days. That part, that part. <laughs> We're not buddy no more. And you know, I'm a social media content creator, and I'm also a social media coach. So if you need someone to help you out with your social media, hit me up. <laughs> but yeah, that's me. Let me do your promo. I love that. <laughs> Let's get the business in that. <laughs> No, but as you should, though, that, that is the best thing. If anyone says to you, oh, who are you, or what do you do, those are the things that you should... Always put in there. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. Nice. That was fun. Right, so, for those of you that don't know, we love to play games on the m and show. So, throughout the show, there'll be different games, and there'll be, like, different rounds, and at the end, you'll have a score, and you'll go on our leaderboard. So, on our leaderboard, the top three, so first, second, and third, get a prize. So, good luck. The I'm first game. Huh? I'm bad at games. I'm so bad at games. <laughs> but okay, come on. You'll be right. You'll I'm be right. right. So the first game is general knowledge. How do you feel like you're gonna do? I think I'm smart. Yeah. And I know a lot of random things. So okay, there you go. I, I think, might be okay. I think but, yeah. I think these are calm. Yeah, but nothing like Twitter related. I don't know nothing. No, like no, no, no. This is general knowledge. Or general knowledge. So of like, like the what? world. Of the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's big. That's a, it's a big world. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big world. You're damn right it is. There'll be five questions and yeah. you have seven seconds to answer each one. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So I'm going to put seven seconds on the timer. We usually have Ade doing this, but he is not feeling well at the moment. Ade, rest up. Question one. What is the largest ocean on Earth? Indian Ocean? Nope. <laughs> Just pick another one. Just pick another one. I, uh, um, what's that one? Pacific. Damn. <laughs> you know what? Because you're right. What? And you said it as the timer went off. Oh. So I think I'll give it to you. Oh, OK. Yes. One, one point. point for Olga. I was just going to name all of them until I landed <laughs> somewhere, but one point for me. <laughs> no, I, because there's a, isn't this whole concept of like there's a sea and an ocean? Girl, I have no idea. <laughs> yes. 
I have no that idea. I was overthinking it right there. That is no, literally, what is it with you just overthinking? I don't You're know, funny. I just, uh, no. All right, are we ready for the next one? Yeah. Right, what Go is on. the largest organ inside the human body? The stomach? Mm-mm. Heart. Nope. The heart, the biggest. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait, I know this one. It's lungs. No. <laughs> it's the liver. That's what I meant. I did mean liver, and then I just... Because they're both saying it now. Golly. All right, cool. Next okay, one. This is super general knowledge. Are you ready? Next yeah. one. Yeah. Cool. What is the chemical symbol for gold? A-U? Yes. Oh, I know that one. You didn't even see second look at you. <laughs> of course you know that one. All right, cool. Two points. All right, next one. What is the name of the largest waterfall in North America located on the border between the United States and Canada? Niagara Falls? Yes. Oh, check see? Me out. This is calm. <laughs> What's that? Three points? Yeah. What a great. We're taking it away. All right, cool. And the last one. What is the name of the famous French designer who founded the Chanel brand? Chanel? Full name. Damn. Something I... Chanel. Coco Chanel! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm is... actually crying. I can't turn it off. <laughs> is it Coco Chanel, right? Okay, now l- let me think about this. <laughs> because you said it as the timer went off. And I gave you that the first time. But also, I said it's something Chanel. Should I have said that? That was a clue. No, but when you said full name, I knew it was Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel. <laughs> I knew it. Friends. I knew you it. You know what, yeah? I'll give it to you. Okay. So okay. how many points is that? Four? Four out of I five. Think. Yeah, that's good. And honestly, if I didn't get the Chanel one, that would be just incorrect because I'm manifesting a Chanel bag, so. I love that for you. Okay, and no. you'll get it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right, cool. So... Tell us, yeah. who is Olga? Damn, I thought we were still playing games. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back, we'll come back. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got more games later on, we'll come back. So yeah, who's Olga? Wow, there's layers to Olga, you know? Yeah, we'll start off with your content creating. So oh, okay. when did you start making content? So I started creating content in 2020, actually 2019. Mm. So I was actually talking about this on TikTok because that's why I waffle a lot on there. So just check that out if you want to say it. But, um, <laughs> but um, I started creating content in 2019. I feel like at the time I was, obviously I just dropped out of nursing because mm-hmm. I actually did nursing and then dropped out of nursing. Mm-hmm. And I was just looking for something that I loved and I liked taking pictures. Mm-hmm. So I created a new account during the end of 2019. Then I'll take pictures in there. And then 2020 January, I was like, okay, cool. Came across digital marketing. I was like, I want to get into digital marketing. That's when I had a clothing business as well at the time. Mm. And do you oh, remember my clothing yeah. business? Yeah. I had a what clothing was it business. Was Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Throwback. Oh throwback. my gosh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I had a I had a clothing brand yeah. at the time. Sorry, continue. <laughs> Pivot X. And, and Throwback. I know. And at the time I wanted to figure out how it was gonna market my brand and I went on YouTube and I was like, how do I market a clothing brand? And there's mm. this guy in this random video that was like, the best way to make sales with your business is to become an influencer. I said, okay, cool. I'm going to become an influencer. Is that how it started? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I was like, I'm going to start with the influencer. And then in February, I go through my first heartbreak. Damn. Horrible. Boo. Horrible experience. Yeah, literally. <laughs> By the time I lived with one of my friends, mm. and she was like, so I would cry. It was my first heartbreak, you guys. It no, was I hear it. Awful. It was I hear it. awful. And Damn. She, I would cry. Like, I remember um, she used to come, like, she would hear me scream on the phone, like, ah! Who? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it was <would> Shabby. <laughs> And then sometimes oh, I miss I, Shabby, man. No, I'm so <laughs> That is but, so funny. Yeah, I'll be screaming. <laughs> and do you know what? Sometimes I'll be so dramatic that if she's not coming to knock my door, I'll drop myself on the floor. You're like, an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I never just, told her just, this. <laughs> Shabby, if you're watching. <laughs> I'm actually crying. I just wanted to give me a hug, but bless her so much because at that time I think I needed a friend like her. Yeah. And it was just the support I needed, honestly. Yeah. Her and her mom, they have a special place in my heart. Aww. And um, so she, at the time she was like, okay, you know what, that's it. 
every single time when you feel sad, we're going to do our makeup and we're going to take pictures. Oh. Every single time, because we just asked to. She was, oh, I think she was taking guys. a gap from uni as well. So we're like, yeah. we're going to take pictures. Yeah, we're going to do it. And um, so we'll just do that. There was one day, though, I actually got full, we both got full on ready because we said we're going to do this. Yeah. And then she left me for two minutes and came out and bucked off my wig, you know? I'm <laughs> actually crying. I was, I just started both, like, crying again, but... <laughs> Well, like, we'll try next time. Today was just not the day. But yeah. at that time, I then ended up going back to my mum's house as well. Because, mm. obviously, COVID happened. Mm. And it was kind of like, what are we going to do? And she moved with her mum as well. And she, yeah. she moved to Manchester at the time as well. So, um, And then when I was in my mum's house, I turned my whole bedroom into kind of like a studio. Mm -hmm. I got rid of my wardrobe, everything. Flipping out. And, out. yeah, I had, like, a drop back, like, a white one. And I would just take pictures and videos. And I was just enjoying the numbers. And yeah. because... I'm a numbers girl, I actually love math. So whenever numbers are going up and down, like that's, yeah, that fills me up. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, I love this number. Yeah. You know? so I'll just <laughs> take pictures all the time. And I even remember the first picture that went viral. Mm. And I was like, so flabbergasted because I, I had like 2,000 followers. So yeah. I was so confused. I'm like, what is going on? It's going like, tick, 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 mm. tick, tick. I'm like, hey, that's <laughs> it. it felt like, it sounded like money to me. <laughs> 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 And I went from like 2,000 to 10,000 within like a month or something. Wow. Yeah, literally. And bearing in mind, it was still for my business anyway. So I was like, I want my business to grow, whatever. Mm. But um, I was like, when I get 10,000, I'm going to be so happy. Yeah. Get to 10,000, I'm like, okay, this is fun. It stopped being about everything else and it's like yeah. about me and just enjoying what I was doing. Yeah. And I was like, let's aim for 20. Got to 20. I was like, actually, if I can get to 20, then I can get to 100. Mm. And then I just never stopped posting. Bro. It's been four literally, years now. I remember. <laughs> I remember like seeing you like get more followers, get more followers. That's freaking raw. Yeah. Oh, I'll go here now. Like, <laughs> bro, I'm, I think I remember when you were like 70, and then I think your jump from 70 to 100, I think it was really short. Yeah. Like I think it was it happened in a short time. Yes, it did. And it I remember did, thinking yeah. raw, like, I remember thinking, oh yeah, August was 70. Did, did. Then I remember seeing 100, I said, how did that happen? Huh? No, no, but honestly, honestly, this is what I mean by how you're one of the hardest workers I know. You were posting and posting. <laughs> I'm posting, I'm posting, mm -hmm. and it was good. Like it, I remember, I remember thinking, yeah, she's hungry, like she wants it. <laughs> but no, it's it's a good thing though, yeah. because yeah. a lot of people will start doing things and they're just not hungry. They don't really, really yeah. want it. They think, oh yeah, I can take some pictures. Oh, I can be an influencer. Oh, I can be a baddie, da, 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 IG baddie. Da. Bro, you post once every six months. Like yeah, you don't, you don't yeah, mean it. Yeah, you don't, but yeah. you literally meant it. And you could see that like, your quality kept getting better as well. Like yeah. When I say I'm so proud of you, like I actually mean oh, it because honey. I've been paying attention. Like I don't know oh. if it's like if it's, if it's been clear over the years that like, I've been locked in. No, it but, has been. Bro, no. like, I think I've... you and Brittany both have really bro. seen oh, you guys Brittany, from the very get go. Pretty. You bro, know, always yeah. been reposting my pictures Literally, on your stories and always. stuff. So definitely, yeah. You've like it's oh, it's it's just been really nice to see. Because you you just deserve good things, oh, haven't you? Like thank honest, you. no, it's not because it's gonna get worse, but chill. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Because my next question was going to be, like, how did you start getting into, like, IG content? But, like, it was literally from wanting to market your clothing brand. My clothing brand, so that yeah. makes a lot of sense. So then you were just enjoying it to the point where you just wanted to continue. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I think there was a very important moment where I had to make a decision. Because mm -hmm. when I was doing content at the very beginning, I was also working full-time. And yeah. I had a degree of apprenticeship, so I was also studying full-time. Okay. So at this point, it became, like, Going back to having to liking to juggle yeah. a lot of things, so it became. I had Monday to Thursday. I was in, I was at L'Oreal, like mm. traveling two hours to and from Hammersmith. Yeah, flipping. And heck. then I know it was like four hours in total of traveling. Yeah. And then I was also studying on Fridays. Mm. Bring in mind, I only had Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to now study and do content. Yeah. And then I also had the business as well. Yeah. So I had to decide. I was like, okay, cool. I love all these things, but if I continue doing all of them, I'm only going to be giving. A little bit of effort to yeah. every single one of them. So I had to pick, is it content or is it the business? Yeah. Because as much as I loved the business, which I still do love right now, but I realised that I didn't love the business. Yeah. I loved marketing the clothes. Yeah. Wow, so that's, that's so what it cool. made sense for me to just what? Stick yeah. with content. Because content is just constantly creating fashion content to market clothes for yeah, brands, basically. Literally. But yeah. 
Right. So that was the moment I made the decision. Was like, yeah, That's fine. so good that you kind of came to that conclusion, though, that you were able to really break down, okay, what is it about the business that I actually like? Yeah. That takes a lot of, like, insight and that self-awareness as well to come to that conclusion. That's really yeah, smart. definitely. It's smart. I like that. It's, yeah. So talk to me about how you became the main love interest in Gabsy's song. What? <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> you were saying what? She said what? <laughs> yeah, I forgot for a minute as well. I'm like, what? The what you are so about? funny. You said what as if I made it up. Guys, <laughs> yeah, go on YouTube and see. <laughs> no, I'm actually gonna throw up. Oh my god. Yeah, so That's you were so the funny. main love interest in Gabby's oh, song. Oh yes. Fuck yes, yeah, it was, yes, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I, remember, I just, I forgot for a minute. And then I was like, oh, pull up. Yeah, 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 I remember. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. You're gonna be, I'm going to start throwing up. <laughs> so, <laughs> it pisses me off. So, how did that come about? Like, yeah, how did that come about? Because I've never seen I think, wow, oh, we're going to do that video mixing, beloved. <laughs> Do you know what's so funny? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I love Gumsy. He knows this. I'm yeah. Crazy. Anyways, but the thing is that I, before I even met Gumsy or even spoke to him, mm -hmm. I loved his music. Yeah. I feel like in the space of like um, Afro swing or whatever, yeah. there wasn't a lot of like music that made me feel empowered as a black woman. Yeah. Mm. And I feel like Gubs's music did that for me. I love so that. Much. Honestly, like as I'm like my confidence after my breakup was really bad. Yeah. And I would just listen to Gubsy every single time and I would yeah. just be thinking, you know, that's me. Her. You think about me, you know. Literally, I think I'm, I was a, I'm that girl, you I'm know. That girl. Do you know what I mean? We're doing especially stay. Mm. Tell me, do, 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 do. I love that I lo song. Gabsy, we love you. Gabsy, yeah. we love you. Come on the show. No, I'm joking. I'm not joking. Shout me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, so, no, I love that, though. Honestly. And I used to say to my friends, I was like, you know what? I would love to have a moment to just be like in a music video. Yeah. I was like, but I'd only do it for one person. I think I'd only yeah. do it for Gabsy's songs because mm. that's the one that actually really like his music. Yeah. But I think we had connected on Instagram at some point. And he just messaged me maybe like wow. a week before and said, hi, Olga. Like obviously at the time they needed a girl, of course, and the audit so wanted someone who could drive. And at the time I, I was driving as well. Mm. So he was like to me, Olga, do you want to wow. come for the music video? I said, yeah. yes. <laughs> I got my mind. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And then since wow. then, honestly, like... Like I said, Gabs has got a special place in my heart. Like not just him, him and his whole team. Like, yeah. Because from that music video... Like things completely like change oh, in a way because all of good. a sudden, yeah. Honestly, all of a sudden, I had this group of friends, yeah, and all like Gabs's friends, and then I also met a good friend of mine at the time as well, and it was just like we would just do everything together. Like we would go out Aww. together, party, we'd do picnics together, we'd Aww. do movie nights together. Like it was That's just like really nice. I know it was it was really sweet and. I feel like where I was coming from Essex as well. I didn't yeah. have a lot of connections in London. Yeah. And they became kind of like the reason I was always in London. Yeah. And it actually opened up many relationships for me moving from yeah. there. So definitely. I remember, um, so I'm going to tell you one of those very interesting moments, yeah, actually. Yeah, oh, go on. I'm I interested. <laughs> <laughs> um, had um, an album, album drop-in. Mm -hmm. I think it's at the end of the night. Was it that one? Or the one that he has like... Oh, is it, it, was, one, it was an EP, it wasn't an album, actually. Is it the one that has rice and peas on it? Yes, I love that, that one, yeah, yeah. Gabsy, man. <laughs> it's literally, yeah, no, we got, Gabsy, you got to love guy. Gabsy. Bro. <laughs> literally, and um, his manager was like to me, oh, we're doing this, like, immers immersive listening experience and stuff, so yeah. come to Canary Wolf, and you and your friends can can get involved in it, me and my mm. friend, both of us. So we went there. Is that the one when they were in the... In the car. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, literally. Oh my gosh, Gabsy! <laughs> How many times have I called your name? name? <laughs> <laughs> wow, literally. Nice. And, um, we're in that. I remember while, while we were waiting and stuff. So I see both of his managers were speaking to these two guys I'd never met before. Mm. And me and Mrs. Chatty Patty, and I don't. I'm just. I'm. I'm the way I'm in it. So yeah. I was getting bored. I said, let's go talk to them. And I just woke up to them. I'm like, oh. 
who are you guys? Mm -hmm. And we're like talking, and like, oh, we da da da. I'm like, what do you guys work in? They're like, I work in digital marketing, da da da. And I'm just like, they liked my shoes. I was wearing some, I think they were like khaki pradas. They were like, mm -hmm. we love your sh with your trainers. They're really cool. And I said, thank you. They're, they're like, the whole outfit is so cool. And I said, it's kind of like what I do. We're just having this conversation. Mm -hmm. In that conversation, they were like, oh, we're having a um, seven year anniversary for our <sighs> magazine. And he turned out to be the Guap guys. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> Jide and Ibrahim, yeah. So they were like, Oh, God, you guys come, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to get up out of here. <laughs> no, no that's all. Oh, look I at God, know. Look literally, at God. literally. And then, oh since then, gosh. that was already another relationship as well. Like, Jide, Ibrahim, both of them oh, are so oh God. No, amazing. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I love this for you. Oh, thank that's you. That's amazing. Oh. <laughs> Look I know. God. If, that's how God's like. He just places you with important people, yeah. people that you need at that period, like that period in your time, in your life and stuff. Yeah. And I think I can definitely say. Obviously, we used to jambaz. By the way, I'm mm. claiming jambaz because. What do you mean you're claiming it? Because <laughs> government knows. So basically, yeah, when we first, when, to be honest, it was their thing. But when we first all started hanging out together, yeah, we just caught us going out jambaz. It was a jambaz. Oh. Okay, we take videos all the time. You're like, so you're really inside, like yeah. you're really like. like I'm telling you, you know when the, <laughs> she when said, I'm claiming your buzz. <laughs> Go on, tell him. His management is going to get me in trouble. So that's not. <laughs> He's going to be like, Olga, you um, can't be claiming your buzz out loud. <laughs> okay, guys, she didn't claim it. Ah, Pessy can't make joke again. <laughs> she didn't claim it. No, but um, yeah, so would always just go out and have the most fun. Fun. Yeah, I, I felt the most uplifted at that time, and I needed that. Oh, and you know what? That's all so crazy because I didn't know that you like chilled with all of them and stuff. Like, I put it in here just that like, just wanted to know, oh. like, wait, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I put it in there just wanted to know, like, oh, like, what was it like, like, to be in a music video and stuff like that? Yeah, not knowing that all of the like, listen, the way God works, yeah, he's so intentional. No, yeah, because he knew that you like. It's just crazy because I was literally just writing. I just thought, oh yeah, like let me ask her this, and da, 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 da. not knowing that you had all of that. That's amazing. No, I think honestly, that's so cool. No. So I w also wanted to ask, like, would you do that again? Like, if obviously you said it's only like if Gabs you asked you to. So if Gabs was to ask you, like, oh, do you want to be in this video? And da, 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 like, well, would you do it again? Especially now that he's like a lot bigger as well. Uh -huh. Like, what would you would you try I mean, to be in a music video? Guys, let me tell you something. I asked him, I said, let me be in the next video. And he said to me, we can't use the same girl twice. Wrong! I was like, damn! Wrong. <laughs> I was like, damn. damn. I should have saved my life. <laughs> God, we. <laughs> No but way! Yeah, no, um, oh, that's that's really interesting. I wonder yeah. why, but that's yeah, that's that's interesting. But it was fine, honestly. But I think now, anyways, I think asked maybe like a year ago, maybe yeah. a bit. But I think now I probably it was a joke, anyways. So yeah, I wasn't being dead ass, but yeah. Now probably not so much, mm. just because the it depends. It will have to really depend. Yeah, because I'm very much like branding myself, not branding necessarily, but I've grown and evolved into a whole different woman yeah. compared to the woman I was before then. Like, I hear that. Not that there's anything wrong with the way I used to be before, yeah, but yeah, I've yeah. just... You're just different. I'm in a different era You've now, grown. do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah like, you, I, yeah, you, when you grow, when you become like a different version of yourself, you don't do the things that you used to. Yeah. Not necessarily because it was the worst thing ever, but just because yeah. that's just not really what you do anymore. Yeah, And exactly. that's fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, probably wouldn't, unless if it was... I don't know, Christian song and my husband or whatever, someone singing wedding songs to me. I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, when it comes to you, that's... I don't know. I won't waste my time when it comes to you. Oh, um... Friday. Yeah, I won't waste, waste no time. time. Yeah, that one. Have yeah, you seen yeah. the music video to that? Yes, 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 I yes, would yes. be in something like that. I heard that. You know what I mean? I heard that. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Right, so talk to me about your new endeavour, Socials by Olga. Oh, yes. Talk to me. If uh, I look, talk to me, talk to the people. Like, what's going on? What is it? Okay. Socials by Olga is basically my coaching business because going back to kind of like what happened with, um, what happened with my influencing, where I realised, you know what, I preferred marketing fashion yeah. over... <laughs> selling fashion or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like what's happened with Socials by Olga as well. Okay. Because, yeah, since 20, 2019, I've always been in digital marketing. So mm. I'm working with businesses behind the scene as much as I'm doing it in the front line in terms of like as an influencer. But 
I've worked with different companies, yeah. nine to fives, and for me, I realized that I don't necessarily enjoy looking after other people's accounts. I would rather teach people how to look after their own accounts. Okay. Because if I'm gonna do something, I wanna make sure I'm doing it at 100%. Yeah. And with, it can be so hard to be 100% invested, especially in social media, as a social media manager, to, mm. be, to be specific. It can be so hard to be 100% invested in someone else's accounts when I already have my other accounts yeah. as well. Do you know what I mean? That, makes that sense. I'm very passionate about. Yeah. But I genuinely love social media and I feel like I love talking about it. Like, if you yeah. give me an opportunity to talk about it, if you want to ask me anything, ask me. And yeah. I always get, I would always get people DMing me about it as well. Like, mm-hmm. how do I do this? And I'm out here sending them podcast long voice notes. Like, yeah. so I just enjoy that side of things as well. Mm. And then at first I thought, let me try to look after other businesses' stuff. And I just wasn't. I don't like nine to fives. Yeah. I'm not, I can't do it. Yeah. I cannot do Monday to Friday at work. Yeah. I hear it. Even me, yeah, I'm wondering, hard. can it's, I do it? It's <laughs> hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Yes. I very much feel like also it's even harder because I did a year where I didn't work at all. Yeah. So now getting back into a nine back to five. Getting back into it. It's just like, I need a six month holiday twice a yeah. year kind of vibe. Do you know what I mean? That part. <laughs> that part. So literally. So, um. I just decided that when I got made redundant, mm. let me see what God wants me to do first of yeah. all. At first, I thought I was going to go back into clothing. Mm. Then I thought, you know what, influencing is going to be the only thing I'm going to do. Yeah. And it was interesting because I feel like God has really like stewarded me towards that mm. because I was resisting it for a few months. Yeah. I, I would literally take on clients on the side, random clients on the side. Yeah. But bearing in mind, I wasn't marketing myself and I'm having clients signing two thousand pounds with me to help them coaching them and stuff like that without me even marketing myself but this yeah. is people that will sit down and have conversations with them they're like oh god yeah. help me you yeah know, help me with this help me with that and i'm just like okay cool cool i'll do it i'll do it mm. so it's like no matter how much i was resisting it and i wanted to just be i'm an influencer that's it yeah it's almost like it was just knocking at my door and yeah then I, and I just thought you know what oh god this is what you love and the reason you're probably not doing it is probably because you're scared mm. and it's okay to be scared but you have to be scared and do it anyways. So that's when we created socials by Olga. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you little superstar, you. No, but that's so true though. Like, be scared and still do it. Like, yeah, don't be scared full stop. You have to still do it. You have to push through. And even like when you're saying like, it just kept coming. It was like a knock at the door. That's God saying, ah, are yeah, you, not, this is, are you yeah. not listening? No, literally. Bro, and that's crazy because I'm, I'm reading devotional at the moment about um, the life of Jonah. Nice. And about how like he was, oh no, I finished that one. I did it last week anyway. Yeah. But it was literally about how like, you know, obviously like Jonah was trying to run from God. Resisting and did it. God, God said, yeah. you think, come it, I will come bring, bring you back. <laughs> I'll bring you back. God said, come it. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, no, that's good that you were like proper obedient and you actually went through with it. In terms of socials by Olga, uh-huh. would you like make a course or like write a course, write a book or anything like that? Like, I feel like that would be really good. Yeah, so bring in mind I've only launched it for like two weeks. This is the second week we're going into it. Mm. But I do, so I offer different services. It's so confusing. I'm going to keep looking at you. That's, okay. <laughs> that's fine, that's I fine. Like this. No, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> but um, I am, uh, what's it called? I offer different things. So mm. I want to make sure that I'm hands on, like I'm not just like, because by me being hands on and helping people one to one, it helps me grow. Yeah. Like I'm working at the moment with like someone who's an upcoming artist and stuff like that. Mm. That's an industry I've never tapped into. So mm. the more I'm like teaching him, I'm having to go back and do a lot of research into his industry. Yeah. So it's like broadening my horizons. My hor- exactly. So Literally. I think for me right now, the most important thing for me is knowledge and growth. Nice. Do you get it? So I would have loved to just create a course and just leave it there running. But yeah. I want to be hands on right now. Yeah. But on top of that, so I offer the one-to-ones, but I also have, there is a digital course that I actually invested in for myself. Mm. And it's called the Ultimate Branding Course. Mm. And initially what this course does is literally it just teaches you everything digital marketing. Yeah. Like anyone can use this course. If you're someone who has a business and you mm. want to learn, you can go on that course. If you're an influencer like myself mm. and you want to upskill yourself, you can get that course. Or if you're someone who wants to start in the industry, mm. anyone that wants to understand how digital marketing across everything, including social media, email, that course has it. Mm. So I actually invested into that course. It's like 400 and something. Mm. And it's a community of girls that are like-minded, right? But the best part of this course is that it has two different customers. Mm. You're either buying that course to learn how to use that course, or you're buying that course to resell that course because it comes mm. with reseller rights. Wow. So, exactly. So 
I got it for me to learn. Yeah. But then it comes with reseller rights. So yeah. now I can actually, I'm also like selling it as well. Yeah. But on top of just, rather than just selling it, I sell it and um, you can, you've got options to just buy it. Mm. Or you can get the course and get a consultation call with me mm. so or you can do the coaching program and the course together because mm. the coach the the course has all the theory for social media mm -hmm. but my one-to-ones have all the practical yeah so it's almost like what i encourage most of my clients now anyways like go through the course because that's something i've gone through and i, I prove it and i know yeah. it has all the basics you need mm. so when we're now having a one-to-one -one calls i'm not having to teach you what the yeah. consistent is or what instagram is now mm. we're just coming say okay cool you've learnt this this is how we're going to apply it to your niche, if wow. that makes sense. So this that's what so I've been cool. doing. You're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this is so impressive. Because this is not... You're not just one of those people that's, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm only... Uh, wow, and find the English. You're not one of those people that's just an influencer that just takes pictures and is a bit consistent with it. Like, you actually are interested in like you have an interest you have a passion for it yeah. you're trying to learn you're trying to grow on like a educational type level that that's this is really good and that just explains like your that your success and your your ability to kind of like just keep pushing through like ceilings and stuff like yeah wow you're so cool <laughs> I know it's tough. No, I know I keep saying it. I know Thank it sounds you, mad no, voice, I really but I, I genuinely mean it. Like, I could literally, I think I could sit and listen to you talk about social media forever. <laughs> like, if the rest of this whole thing was literally uh -oh. just about you talking about that, because I'm a person that I, like, I'm really interested in marketing, like digital marketing. Yeah. I think if I wasn't in the field I was in now, that's where I'd go. Because I like all types of meat, like TV, film, social media, like I'm very interested in and stuff like yeah. that. So I feel like I would actually like, be, I would gain so much. I literally just watch you just talk about it all day. Literally. Yeah. Okay, so our second game is second spelling game. bee. Pardon? Sp <laughs> Did you say spell? <laughs> yes. What? Oh, my spelling is awful. You know what? It's so bad. We'll try, Sha. Okay. Okay, okay so Guys. I'm going to give you three words to spell. So okay. <laughs> if you get it on your first try, you get five points. Oh, okay. If you get it on your second try, you get three points. If you get it on your third try, you get one point. Okay. If you can't get it by the third try, there's no point. We'll move on. Okay? It's so bad. You're good, you're good, you're good. Okay. The first word yeah. is xenophobia. <laughs> I know what it is. Yeah. I don't know. What is xenophobia? I should not. I'm really bad. Okay, no, I'm going to try. Just try, try, just try, just try. So I'm going to try to spell it as I hear it. I know okay. how to spell phobia, which is good. Yeah. It's a P, not an F. F, what, I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this girl is ridiculous. This girl is ridiculous. <laughs> Zeno. Zeno. Is it Zeno or Zeno? Um, Zeno, Zeno. Whichever way you want to say it. But um, it still it still sounds the same. Z no z no. It's just that first letter. It might not be what you think. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Before anyone accuse me of cheating, that's all I'm gonna say. Z I. No. Right. Okay, second try. Second try. Z. Mm? <gasps> so it's not. A I didn't say that. It's not a Z. I, I, I didn't say that. So this is still your second try. Damn, I should know this. I grew up in South Africa, you guys. There's a lot of xenophobia over there. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. I'm actually crying. Okay, come on. If it's not the sound that you think, if it's not the that you think, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is your third try. <laughs> Please. Like, what, what, what's, what letter could it be? If it's not Z. It has to be a Z. It doesn't. If it's not Z, usually it's an S. Wait, say it again. Xenophobia. X. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Xenophobia. <laughs> yeah. Girl, you know what? We'll be fun. It's an E, guys. It's an E. Z E N O P H. 
Z-E-N-O-P-H-O-B-I-A, xenophobia. It's okay, it's okay. The second word is hippopotamus. Oh, I know that one, but yeah. it's very tricky because there's a lot of P's that goes on in that. Yes. Hippop... So just break it up. Say it, out, say it again. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Do you even know what type it says? God of hip hop. H I P O. No. Say it again. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Double P. Okay, so this is your second try. Okay. H I P P O T. Okay, third try. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way you're looking like I'm making it up. You're looking around like, what's she doing? <laughs> Hippo. Wait, I'm getting hot, guys. I'm too so much. <laughs> Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Hippo. Hippo. Oh, there's another P. Potamus. Okay, got it, got it. H I P P O P O T. Tamus. <laughs> 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 what did you end up on? T the T. Yeah. Amus. Hippopotamus. You're almost there. I feel like there's an O in it. U somewhere. So if you're on the T, what's it? I mean, what's next? <laughs> <laughs> Hippopotamus. Oh, um, T A. Yeah. U S. What's the M? M. <laughs> Hippopotamus. H I P P O P O T. Oh, there's an M U S somewhere. M U S. No, I feel like so close. Okay. Final word is sanctimonious. <laughs> Guys, I'm never gonna try. I'm never gonna try. I've embarrassed myself enough. There's no happening today. I'm actually. Crying. Is that even a word? Yeah, sanctimonious. What is it? You're asking the wrong questions here. The right, but the, <laughs> right, the right thing to ask is, you know, I don't know, but try and spell it. <laughs> Sanctimonious. I feel like if I had a pen and paper, I would write it down. Just try and like write it on your hand. Okay. Sanctimonious. Like, there's no rush. S okay, yeah. U. Sanctimonious. S A. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This girl ain't real. <laughs> She's not real. Somebody help me. Help me. Guys, please. In, do you know what? English is not my first language. Okay, so spell it. <laughs> Just put it out there. <laughs> spell it. <laughs> spell it. Or what's, what's your, don't tell me. Um, what, what language do you speak? Is it, um, oh, it gives an N. Shana. Oh, what's that? Debele. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm Shana. Okay, so spell it in Shana. I cannot spell anything in Shana. <laughs> So why are you telling us that English is in your first language? Do you know what it is? It's like I can spell I'm some words. I'm actually crying. I, I just don't know Do you know want what... me to tell you how to spell it? Yes. Oh, S-A-N. What? S-A-N. Oh, it's an N. Sanctimonious. S-A-N. Yeah. Oh. C-T-I. Sancti. M-O-N-I-O-U-S. Sanctimonious. Honey, did you know how to spell that? Or did you yeah. To... No, you I know, did? I know, I know how to spell it, yeah. Oh, damn. So people actually That's know okay. how to spell that word. I think so. Well, it's that the spelling bee is supposed to be like words that aren't easy. I can't tell you to spell water. Do you know what I, I mean? Like, that's my... that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually crying. You just went from you know how there's easy, medium to difficult. You just went straight to difficult. <laughs> Wait. So how many points are you on now? You're still on four. Yeah. That's okay. Damn. That's okay. That's okay. Right. So, how do you stay motivated, especially in the current climate, in terms of like content creating and influencing? So like, in the current climate, I mean about how like, one, it seems like everyone's an influencer, or the other part about how like, there's kind of like a negative connotation with being an influencer. So how do you kind of like, stay motivated in all of that? Okay. Um, I've got like a lot of things that I can say. Yeah, no, that's cool. I think, the first thing I would say is, you know, I said there's a lot of influences. Mm. I believe that doesn't matter how many influences are out there, 
but there's only one you mm. and there's a space for you on the internet with the people that are going to be willing to listen to what you have to say even mm. if you're saying the same thing even if we're saying the same message we'll always say it differently yeah and also you have to understand this is how you understand there's over seven billion eight billion people in the world yeah and on social me social medias at the moment i think there's like two billion to mm. three billion on like tiktok and facebook and stuff like that right and they can follow more than one person. Yeah. They can have inspiration from more than one person. Mm. So it does not matter how many influences are there because there's enough people to follow every single one of us. Yeah. So I don't really look at it that way at all. I yeah. just feel like it does get hard, don't get me wrong, but the difficulties that come in terms of like emotional difficulties that you might face, that's where you need to have faith. Mm. And because this year, like I said, it's been the best year for me because I've actually managed to have a much healthier relationship with social media. Mm. And that's based on the fact that I know the promises God has made for me and I know that he has, yeah, he, he has a purpose for me and nothing in this world is going to come between me and that purpose. I know, that's right. That's literally it. I know, that's right. <laughs> that's Jeremiah like, 29 verse 11, for I know the plans oh, I have for you, the plans the Lord, <laughs> plans to prosper you not to harm you, plans to give you a hope Amen. and a future. Exactly that. That's, that was going to be the verse I was going to talk about because I feel like for a long time I was fighting all the stuff I thought yeah. I had to do it. Yeah. And I realized I don't have to do anything. Yeah. I'm going to tell you guys about something that's that I have in my house. Mm. I have a prayer jar in my house. Nice. And I tell everyone about it because it's my... I feel like that was so creative for me to do that. <laughs> I <But>, ate. <laughs> I ate, literally. <laughs> but um, the time when I had to create that... that um, I was studying Matthew. Yeah. Um, and Jesus talks a lot about faith in there, hope and, you know, mm. seek first the kingdom of the Lord and everything else will be given to yeah. you. Um, I think one, one verse that I really liked is the fact that... I think it's still Matthew 6 and it talks about, you know... if. God can feed the hummingbirds mm. and dress the lilies and he can mm. take care of you. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And, uh, when that have, so when I was studying Matthew, there's a lot of parables in there that are very much pushing you to faith, faith, faith. I had to realize that, okay, I need to seek and believe that I've received, mm. right? And I created this prayer jar for me. It's more like a goals, prayers to God. Mm. And what I did is that I had to physically create something that I will be giving my prayers to God mm. so that I know I don't have to carry them anymore. Mm. So once I've placed it in that prayer jar, I'm not allowed to worry about it's it. Done. When I start worrying about it, I have to physically go into that prayer jar and take it back. So mm. I see that I'm not worrying. So I'm taking it away from God and bringing it back to me again. Mm. So that's what's really helped me a lot. It's like, wow. okay, cool. The plan is this. This is what I've asked God for. God knows my heart and God wants the, what's best for me. He's not going to give me something I'm not ready for. And I, hope he doesn't do you get what I'm saying so it's going to happen in his timing so if let's say my goals I don't know to be more limited or whatever maybe um, I've written everything that I want for myself especially this year or in the next coming years I've written it down and I've put it in God's hands and I understand that okay cool just because I've put it in God's hands it doesn't mean it's going to come to me while I'm chilling mm. right there's this thing that I came across that said let me try to remember exactly how this quote was it was like Without God, I can't, but God without me, he won't. So <laughs> that's it, literally. It literally, every single time I remind myself of that all the time. Whew. I can't do without God, but God ain't gonna do nothing if I'm doing nothing. Mm. So there's a part that I have to play and there's a part God has to play. And God has the biggest part. Yo. <laughs> My part is very simple. I just have to show up. This you know? is crazy. Yeah. This is crazy because everything you're saying is facts. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> no. I'm trying to, you know, just like get through, but no, like I have to really just take that in. That's yeah. so true. Yeah. Because it's literally like faith without works is dead. Like you, you, you can't just sit around and do nothing, yeah. but you also have to really surrender it to God. Exactly. Like you actually have to say, Lord, I'm I'm laying this at your feet. I'm laying all my burdens at your feet. Like I know that you're gonna do it. I know that you have a plan. I know that everything works together for my good. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, everything is all working together for because it's part man. of the storyline. Yeah. And it's all for my good because at the, at the end of the day, you only want what's good for me because you love me. Like you literally died on the cross of me. So it's like, exactly. everything that happens is all part of the storyline, but you have to trust and believe that God wants what's best, what's exactly. best for you because exactly. he loves you. He yeah. literally wants what's best for you. Like, it's yeah. sorry. Wow. No, God is great. Exactly that. Exactly that. And honestly, I remember when, when we're doing this work, remember I said the first few months of this year, I've just been by myself. Mm. Every single day was like learning something new about God, learning yeah. something new about God. And every, it's been hard, don't get me wrong, because 
again, to an extent, I feel like, you know, single family household and stuff as mm. an eldest girl as well, you yeah. tend to do everything yourself. You yeah. take care of yourself all the time. Yeah. So it's like, I'm in a season where it's like, now I'm actually letting God take care of me. And it's taking time, but I can tell you now, I don't stress about, am I going to make it? Am I going to do this? Yeah. When is the next thing? When is that? Don't give me one of those days when it's low. Yeah. And when those days when I'm low, I know what to do. I get on my knees. Yeah. Like, I pray to God, I'm taking back the worries again. Like, yeah. take captive every single thought and make it obedient to the word of Christ. Like, that's what Ooh. I'm constantly saying. Do you know what I mean? Robot so. shut up. <laughs> No, God is so good. <laughs> Literally, so I am. Um, that keeps me motivated, honestly. Yeah. It keeps me motivated because, and I would love to talk about this little exercise I did. And when I first created the prayer jar, yeah. Because again, I was scared. I used to be so scared of doing things. Mm. And you guys would be so shocked because I'm Mrs. I'll post every single day. Mm. But posting became so comfortable and normal to me. But I was yeah. so afraid to do anything else beyond just posting. Yeah. So I did this little exercise when I first was made redundant. I told myself, like, oh, God, I want to make £500 every single week for the next month or whatever. Mm. And part of trusting God, I wrote it down, I put it in the jar. Mm. And then I realized, like, okay, what, what's one way you can think of to make money right now? I said, I'm going to sell my things on Vinted. Things that, because I'm changing the address anyways, I'm going to mm. sell it off. And I'm going to tell you how God showed up for me this. And honestly, God, uh, I could sing his praises forever, honestly. Because I wanted to put things up on Depot for you ages for yeah. time but I was always so like it's not gonna sell mm. good effort da 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 and then I would tell myself like Olga you have your part to play mm. you've told God what you want to do mm. what you need to do now you can't now say God I want to make money but I'm not also posting this stuff on Vinted yeah. so I spend like I put four, four hours aside I put everything up on Vinted right I got a couple of sales, 10 sales. You know, Vinted is £1.50 no <laughs> do you know what I mean <laughs> and then I went to sleep yeah when I woke up in the morning, a girl messaged me and said she wants to buy everything. Yeah, she said to me, can you put it all in a box for me? How much do you want for it? And I said to her, uh, how much do you want to pay? I thought she was gonna say 150, she's like, I'll pay you 300. I said, okay. Within 20, that evening, someone came to pick up that stuff and it was gone. And it's that whole concept of like, God will do the work. Oh, yeah. I have to do yeah. the, what I have to do. Because if you didn't him. set that time aside, if you didn't pull all of that up, how, hey, God. Do you get it? Do you get it? Yo. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. Honestly, literally. I, the God we serve is too good. He's Won't too he good. do it? Won't he do it? Yes, he would. Honestly. Wow. But yeah. And it was I kind of like that. the little exercise from there. I was like, okay, cool. I can trust this guy. Yeah. I can trust this no, guy. Yeah, he, he's, he's trustworthy. Cool. He's, he's trustworthy. He's trustworthy. He's cool. He can every, help. Every single time when I'm feeling a bit dismo like unmotivated to do something, yeah. and I'm like, it's not going to work. I'm like, remember, Olga, you just have to do what you can do. Yeah. And then leave the rest to God to make it work. Yeah. Like, even when I came to starting my business, like I said, mm. I'll think about it, just wouldn't do it. And God said, clients coming to me before I even started marketing it. And it was every single time when I think, let me not do it, let me not do it. Mm. Then they'll be the voice saying, but look, you're literally getting clients without marketing it. Imagine if you were marketing yourself. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, I was like, I just knew it was the right thing, but that's how I stay motivated, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you're so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the way he looks into the camera. <laughs> nice, okay, cool. Right, my next question is, <laughs> does influencing and content creating, does it affect your dating life? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think about that. It does, mm. but I feel like with or without it, this dating space, if you're doing on your own and you're doing it according to your own understanding, like, mm. it's going to affect you one way or another. Yeah. 100%. I feel like it has. I can't lie. I mm. feel like as some, I'm on a dating break at the moment. I'm mm. just not dating at all. And um, because... I feel like with my previous experiences, you become a trophy work really quickly. Mm. You become something for someone else's ego. Like yeah. I've had people like, I just wanted to go and hinge like everybody else was on hinge. You know mm. what I mean? And I've had people pretend to not know me and then yeah. start dating. And then later on, it turns out their girlfriend or things or whatever oh. knows me and now they're hating on me. It was yeah. It became so messy, but I feel like that's just dating regardless of yeah. what platform or not. I feel like if you're dating in a worldly way, you're going yeah. to struggle. Creator, non-creator, everybody's struggling. Do you know yeah. what I mean? 
So for me, the reason why I'm not dating is not because influencing makes my dating life easy, but yeah. just because I realised that I wasn't really let bringing God into my relationships and yeah. now I want to. But I re- I'm really enjoying our conversation because I really like the way it's stemming into all different things. And I really love the way God props up in every single thing we talk about. Like, I really love that because I feel like that's, yeah, I just really love that. Because God is everywhere and he's in everything. And no, like, he is. And the thing and is, he... that there's nothing too small to talk to God about because exactly. he wants to know everything. He wants, like, even if you don't know, oh, what am I going to eat today? You can go to God with that because yes. he loves us. He cares. Yeah. He wants to know. So that's why I like the fact that it's coming up in every single thing we talk about because he should be in everything. He should. Yeah. No, honestly, like, I feel like now because I know what it means, I'm starting to know what it means to have him at the center of my life. There's yeah. no part of my life that I can talk about without bringing him into it because yeah. he's stewarding me in every aspect yeah. of it. And I even remember talking about this on TikTok again because that's where we have our little girly chats. Mm. And um, I was thinking about, like, you know what it is? I genuinely cannot even fathom mm. dating without God anymore. Yeah. It's the scariest thing I can do. Yeah. Let alone dating a man yeah. who doesn't fear the Lord. Hey. <sighs> And do you know what? A shiver just went through my spine. <laughs> no, because and I hear this here. Ooh. I remember I was reading this. I think I don't know if I was watching the chosen or something like that. But anyways, mm. I was reading uh, the Bible and it spoke about how even demons know who Jesus is. Yeah. Just because someone knows Jesus and is a Christian, but if he doesn't fear the Lord, I don't mm. want him nowhere near me. Yeah. If he doesn't have a relationship with God, I don't mm. want him anywhere near me because mm-hmm. he serves himself before anybody else, and I cannot trust him to not break my heart. You know what I mean? Ah, you lot. <laughs> look, at what, look at the people I bring onto this show. Look at how you're being blessed right now. You lot can't say I don't do things for you. What? Yeah. Oh, you're you spitting. You're on spitting. a big red like, <laughs> Seriously. No, you can't. It's so true. Mm. I'm not interested. <laughs> Bro, honestly, I hear you. All right, so our final game today is yeah. Guess the Song. Oh, Okay, cool. Might so be look, good. There'll be three songs to guess. You yeah. get five chances. Um, I can't help, but if you want a clue, it'll cost two points from your overall score. Well, I don't have a lot, do so, I? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> right, so this is first one. Ready? Yeah. I moved on for the better. You moved on to whoever. I was down for whatever. And then some. You go and make me late to work again. Is that a poem? <laughs> it sounds like a poem. Because I can't say it in the in the rhythm, in it. I'm trying to say it very monoto- mon- monot- ah, yeah. monotonous. Can I hit all of them? Then I'll decide on which ones to answer first. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, the next one is, I'd put myself first and make the rules as I go. Because I know that she'd be faithful waiting for me to come home. To come home. I know that song. You do. Wait. I know that song. Yeah. I'd put myself first and make the rules as I go because I know that she'd be faithful waiting for me to come home. To come home. Is it called to come home? <laughs> no, that's not... I was just taking... Te- no, this. I know! It's okay, it's, it's, it's not okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> she'd be faithful for me to come home. I feel like I know that song. You do. Let's see the last one. The last one. Pretty girls say I'm prettier in person. Pretty girls on pretty girls pretty is refreshing. Is in- it Rema? Enjoyment, no go kill person. Uh. Bad girls, no day. <laughs> <laughs> what song is it? She's saying Gumsy. She's saying Gumsy. <laughs> What's the song called? Is it Pretty girls say pretty in person? What's the song called? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Good. Okay, two points. Yes. Nice. So now you're on six points. Okay, so what about the other two? Damn. So the first one was, I moved on for the better. You moved on to whoever. I was down for whatever. And then some. You gonna make me late to work again. I know that song too. Especially that I moved on for the better. But I'm really bad with songs though. That's okay. Can I get a hint? Um, That costs two points. Now I've got two extra. So then you'll just go back to four? Yeah. Are you sure? If I'm gonna... Actually, wait. Is that good math? Because then, if I don't get this one, so even if I get it. Because if you don't get it, then you'll just stay on four. But then if you do get it, I guess you could potentially be eight. But okay, that's... Do hint, does that mean my points for cash? <sighs> oh, yeah, so you just go back up to six. Six, yeah, something is it worth that sacrifice. Okay, let me try to guess. Okay. 
Move down a little bit. Why couldn't you? Why couldn't you make it like? I moved on for the better. You moved on to whoever. I was down for whatever, and then some. You gonna make me late to work again? Damn. Maybe start guessing. I feel like it might be Odile. No. 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 You're gonna make me like. I moved down for the better. You moved down to whatever. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Do you want me to tell you? Go on here. Yeah. Scissor broken clocks. Oh. I yeah. moved on for the moved better. There. You, you moved, moved on, on to whatever. whatever. Yeah. I was down for whatever, and then some. You gonna make me late to work again? Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Better day than yesterday. Anyway. But okay. you know, I'm really bad with lyrics. I never. Really That's okay. Them. You did so. grow the jabsy. Uh, jabsy. Wow. <laughs> jabsy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um. The other one was, I put myself first and make the rules as I go. Because I know that she'd be faithful waiting for me to come home. Neo. To come home. No. It sounds like it would be Neo. Chris Brown? <laughs> <laughs> um, what? They're so different when you're saying them like that. Though. I know. I have to. I'd put myself first and make the rules as I go. Mm -hmm. Cause I know that she'd be faithful waiting for me to come home. To come home. Is it Rihanna? No. <laughs> but You're in the right Be name. Beyonce. Yeah. Irreplaceable. No. Damn. That was completely off, wasn't it? Say but it again. I mean your wrong song, right artist. Wait, hold on. So that's one point for the artist. Yeah. I'd put myself first and make the rules as I go. Because I know that she'd be faithful waiting for me to come song. home. To come home. I know the song. If I were a boy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not the song. Because I know that she'd be faithful waiting for me to come home. Yes. To come home. Uh, okay, good. That's so it. that's what... That's uh, eight. What were you on before? I was on four, then I got the other one, two, then this yes. one, two, so eight. Nice. Not me keeping Congratulations. Track of my <laughs> so totally that means right. you are currently number two on our. That's pretty good. That's what I mean. We've only had one other person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Silla, I'm pretty sure Silla got nine points. So you're on eight points. Okay. But that's that's pretty good considering you didn't get any in spell check. Like, that's, that's a good. That's yeah. a good amount. Right. Nice. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> right, okay. So, considering we just did guess the song, we have a season two playlist that guests can contribute to. So, what song would you want to put a spotlight on that we can put onto the playlist? Is there any song that, you know, you're really liking at the moment? I've got, yeah. Well, yeah, go on. Be, to be fair, I have been on, like, a um, a music fast, like... Oh, okay, Four months cool. now, I oh, literally wow. just listen to gospel only. Okay, yeah, we can put so gospel song in there. I've got good gospel songs. Yeah, go on. Good ones. Uh, I think there's, there's this one that I've been really loving because I feel like if you like Caesar, like um, Summer Walker vibe, mm -hmm. that song gives that vibe. Yeah, what song is it? It's called Heaven on Earth. You have you here, God. It's like heaven on earth. It goes somewhere. Heaven on earth. You know it, innit? Eh? Heaven on earth. Okay, yeah. I, my, I don't have any service at the moment, but I will. You know what song I'm talking about? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really like that one. Okay, cool. Nice. We'll add that to the playlist. The song I want to add to the playlist is a complete juxtaposition to that <laughs> one. It's by a new artist called Poser, who I'm a big, big fan of. He's a draw artist. I'm a big fan, though. Yeah. Um, and it's his new song called I'm Trying On. I, just, I love it. The beat, the, yeah. the words, it's just a very good song. I'm also a Poser stan. So, Poser, if you're watching this, <laughs> make great music um, but yeah cool right so we're coming up to the last part of the show oh, I know I'm so sad Same, it's because so it's good. Crazy, <laughs> it? Um, so I don't know if you know but I'm a TV show fanatic like I watch TV shows like I live breathe 
TV. Yeah. So do you have any TV show suggestions for my audience? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, okay. what do you have? Because I love TV shows. Like, that's my, God. That's my comfy blanket. Same. When I feel lonely, I watch a movie and I just feel whole. Same. Or like, yeah, I love it. Get it. I love it. Okay, what would you suggest to everyone? This is going to not come as a surprise based on how the podcast has gone. But um, I am obsessed with The Chosen. What is that? Oh my god, Annie, you have to check it out. Basically, What's it it's, on? it's on Netflix, but okay. you can watch it for free on the Chosen app TV. Mm-hmm. And it's basically um, a series based on the life of Jesus. Oh. But it's not just focusing on Jesus. Oh, yeah, the Chosen. I think I've heard about this. Yeah, it's so oh, good. Okay. It's so good because, you know, with most of the stuff out there that's like Jesus based, it's mm. all very much about Jesus. And mm. so quickly you just go through. His yeah. birth, uh, you know, his death and his resurrection. Yeah. Res- resurrection. Mm. But this one actually focuses on the three years when he was alive. So oh, all his men- ministry, nice. it focuses on every single one of the disciples. Mm. And it was good for me when I was watching because that's the time when I was actually studying the Gospels as well. Yeah. And I would love it when they would like reference all the biblical stuff yeah. and I recognized there. But honestly, it felt like every single night I got to spend time with Jesus just watching oh, it. It was so, like it's that. so beautiful. Oh, I'm so, going to add that to my, my watch list. Definitely. It's on, nice. one is on Netflix. Watch that. It's really good. And yeah. then you can watch the rest if you want on that one. Yeah, nice. But it's such a blessed show. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> right. My suggestion is Supercell. Oh, yes. Yeah, Supercell was a good one. <sighs> it was so good. Rap man. Yeah, he did a you thing. You did the damn thing. Yeah. You did the yeah. damn thing. Yeah. All of the actors actresses Amazing. everyone did absolutely well i'm it made me so happy watching it because it was so authentically black yeah. British. Like yes. the writing, yes. amazing. The... Even the conversations that we're having, you know? Exactly. It felt, they need to it felt putting... real. Literally, like, it, yeah. it felt real, especially in comparison to other TV shows we've had. Like, obviously, the last season of Top Boy was, it just very, it felt very inauthentic with the, are you going to squeeze on a man or whatever that was. That just wasn't giving what this gives. It felt like such an important story to tell in terms of like sickle, sickle cell, cell and yeah. things like that. It was um, it was amazingly done, and yeah. it was really important, very vital to the community, to just the scene. And I loved it, but not even just in terms of everything it represented, just in terms of it as an actual TV the show. The quality was good, sick, so good, sick. especially for UK. Not not exactly. Like, you know, that's something that mm. Americans yes. get. Like literally Marvel and stuff like, like that. the budget must have been high because yeah. boy like that was they it was good and good I job. one thing about me like like I said I love TV shows but I love like superhero stuff and all of that yeah, like, it so was yeah. it was done very very well and yeah. listen I don't know who the casting director was that wanted to just everyone was good looking I, everyone was sweet yeah Everyone was sweet. But like, it was like a natural sweet. It's like I could see like, you down the street. Literally. Like I could go to a party and see someone who's literally like you. But it wasn't like too, you know, when it's too out, yeah. un- unreachable, you know yeah. what I mean? But this, like, this is like black British beauty. Yeah. And I'm, a, yeah. I'm a fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really, really love Supercell and I would recommend it to literally everyone. So make sure you check that out, guys. That is actually the, basically, I have a thing on my Instagram story. called The Watch List, which nice. is where I um basically just, Add all yeah. these recommendations, yeah. Literally. So um, the first addition to the watch list was actually about Supercell. So I did like a little summary of like what nice. it's about and where to watch yeah. it and stuff. So yeah, guys, amazing scenes. Love it. Again, rap man, well done. All right, Olga, thank you so much for joining Aww. me today. Honestly, it's been so fun. Can you please look into that camera and just tell the people where they can find you, like your socials and all that oh, stuff? Yes, of course. No, honestly, by the way, it's been so fun as well. Oh. I've enjoyed it, honestly. It felt so authentic and natural. I really needed this. Oh. Like, a lot of the conversations, like, I've been having a... I've been having a hard couple of days, mm. and this is just really... God said, don't worry, Annie, I'm listening. Oh. So, thank you. I, I love God that. bless you. I really do appreciate it. Guys, you can catch me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, my at is O-1-G-A-H-H-O-G-A with the one. And uh, on YouTube, it's Olga Tanya Match. And of course, make sure you check out my business page as well. It's Socials by Olga on, in- on Instagram. We're coming to TikTok soon, but yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, thank you to Olga. Guys, make sure you follow her on all her socials. Make sure you follow her business page for some tips. And yeah, guys, episode two done. Yay. M&A out. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, that was good. Oh. <sighs>
Oh, that was great. Yeah. I'm very yeah, happy. I had a good time. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Let's try it out one more time. All right, my art is. What's my art again? <laughs> o one G A H H. Yes. yes Wait, yes. is it two H's? It's two H's. That's Even it. me, I know it. Yeah, I know. Like, I <laughs> promise I've been here before. <laughs> I've like, been here before. So we have seven seconds. Oh my gosh. Let's try it again. Yo, it's your boy, your um, man. Oh. Right, so on. Uh, woo, wow. It's because I'm excited. <laughs> It's because I'm so gassed. That's why I can't get my words out. So basically, I want to start off by saying thank you so much for all the love and the reception. As I re ah! Let's run that back. <laughs>